evening, Dolly Tribe. This is Evie. Totally tiny, but not really. Sunshine. <laughs> I'm not tiny by, by any means. I never have been. I am here with you guys today looking at totally tiny miniature foods. Um, I don't know if this line was created specifically to cater to folks who like um, who like dolls and things or I guess just people who like to collect miniatures. I'm not really sure, but um, being a doll collector, I can't see any reason for them except to feed my need to give my dolls food things, you know, little totally tiny food things. Let's just get right into it because I spend a lot of time talking and I don't want to talk you guys ears off um, because I actually haven't put up the other video where I asked for you guys feedback on whether or not you like longer, short videos or what have you. So you can still comment below. Um, I will get to these once these videos have been published and take you guys um, suggestions to heart because um, I do this a lot for me, but I also now that I have my Dolly Tribe behind me, which have always been there. Um, but those that like to truly engage with the channel, um, I really want to know how you guys feel about that. So please put comments below. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, any comments that you want to leave below, please leave below. Let's all just try to be respectful in the comments. I really haven't had any problems with that. And I would think anybody that follows me already kind of has that mindset to be respectful. But um, there's always new people every day. And some people may not know um, that they need to be a little bit considerate of others in the comments. So just throwing that out there. So I have the movie time, totally tiny package, and I have the French breakfast, totally tiny package. These come in different sizes. Um, there's these that um, I believe are $5. Um, and then they have a bigger pack, which I've had some in the past that are about 10. And then I think they have an even bigger, like crazy mega pack. That's about 15 or $20. I don't know, somewhere around in there. Um, I haven't been able to find any of those anywhere and I haven't been interested in purchase them, purchasing them online. So it's four minutes in and I'm still talking. So let's just go ahead and get into the first one, which is French breakfast. I'm saying the movie one for last. That's kind of, it's kind of my favorite jam right there, what they got inside there. All right. So this one's called French breakfast. And this is how it looks in the package. There's always some kind of like weird slimy ooze gimmick with these. Um, I don't see how that helps, but I guess if you want kids to buy it, you have to sell it with, ooh, here's some ooze, some little gross stuff to put on top of some really cool, cute and detailed miniatures. That's making me hungry. Ooh, look at that. That looks delicious. I think I've had all these things pictured here, I think. <laughs> I think I've had all those things pictured. I'm not going to mess with the oozy element of this. It's just not something that concerns me whatsoever. I do kind of like this little white tray that it's in. You know, as a dog collector, you always be like, what could I use this for? Maybe a sink, like a farmhouse sink? Who knows? When you're a dog collector, your mind always goes to what else can I do? What else? <laughs> with some packaging. And here are all the items kind of out of the package, but still kind of in like a little tray. I'm gonna go through all of it right here, right now. So we have a knife. Just a just a knife to cut cheese <laughs> and spread, you know, um, spread toppings and things over your breakfast food. Um, this is what how it would look in the doll's hand. I don't have any of my putty around to have them actually hold it, but that's how it look in the doll's hand. So that's what scale it is with the doll. She's not gonna cut herself. No dolls are being harmed in the filming of this video, which this video is for adult doll collectors only. So here this item is, um, very nice little knife. I have two more or at least one more um, totally tiny deal, but I'm gonna put that in a different video. Um, I may wait till I collect some more or what. I don't know. <laughs> the next item here, um, I don't even know what this is called. I think it has 
Oh, goodness gracious. This is a piece of paper in here. I thought it was actually coffee inside of here. Like a little like fake coffee. And there's some of the wonderful cat furs that hang around here. Um, yeah, I thought this was coffee or something. Which I guess it's just a piece of paper in there. I guess it's, you know, I guess that works. Here's the top for it. I'm going to put the top on it now so you can see exactly how it's supposed to be. And I guess you just pour that into like a little coffee mug. Et voila. The next thing up is some jelly to spread on top of your breakfast, your French breakfast food. Um, these items feel a little bit hollower than the first wave of, of these that came out recently. Strawberry jelly, it says. This is a sticker and it's not put on very well. So that kind of irritates me, but what can you do? It's not Remit. Remit is the best miniature makers out there unless I'm just not aware of um, other little, you know, companies that make this kind of stuff. Okay, I like this. This is like what called a, a crepe or tart or something. I don't know. <laughs> if you know the uh, official name for these, um, please let me know in the comments below because I've eaten this stuff but I don't remember all the names for it I went to a French bakery one time and had me a blast I've eaten escargots also <laughs> which is a French food um I will never eat them again though I'm just gonna tell y'all that very salty I don't know if the people who made them it was a nice restaurant that I went to so they're supposed to know how to do them but this one looks like a chocolate tart or whatever this is called I like the detail on them, and it's very sturdy, unlike some of their other items from the previous uh, wave or line. This next item is one of the ones I love the most. Here is some cheese and some grapes. So you know how you do like the, um, the wine and cheese? <laughs> this pretty much is what this is. I think this is what the knife is there for as well. Look at the detail on that. Here's the bottom. and got some kind of little code number on it, but look at the grapes. They look, you know, realistic enough in my opinion. Um, here is the little um, tea cup or coffee, um, coffee cup that goes along with this. With this set. I wish there was more than one cup because just one cup just doesn't look right. Um, I was going to get two, but then one of the other packs that I seen with the budget that I had at the time, I could only get four and I chose to get two of the other one. Cause I'm thinking about like the little story that I have in mind, uh, moving forward with doll stories. Whenever I get to that, it just, you know, the other one makes more sense to have bought two of, but this is the French breakfast, the French breakfast set from totally tiny um really cute items it's very nice okay now we're going on to movie time i love me some movies wonder woman 1984 all of dc the comic the comic book superhero stuff those are some of my favorite and then the next are like fantasy films like lord of the rings and um you know things like that And then the next film after that, probably a romantic comedies. <laughs> you know, the usual chick flick kind of stuff. The guys always make fun of girls about. And then here we go. That's the movie time look right there. I love that. Um, I love the art style. It makes me want to eat those gummy bears so bad. <laughs> and the popcorn too. That's really cute artwork. This comes with some ooze-like stuff, too. I'm not going to use that. I don't partake in that just because I feel like I'm too grown to partake in that. <laughs> um, I let the stuff fall out of the little uh, tray. So this is about to be a mess. Since, this, since I had to show this on first, I kind of wanted this to be the last thing I show. But I'm going to go ahead and show this first. Are the little gummy bears. And since I have another doll set by um, Kid, Kid Craft, is it Kid Craft? No, it's not called Kid Connection. <laughs> Kid Connection. 
um, a candy thing. Um, that's why I didn't get two of these. I kind of wanted two of these too, but um, I was on a budget, so I just got what I could. These are $5 each packet at uh, Five Below is where I found mines. Um, and I think I went in there not that long ago and they still had some, so they're definitely still keeping those around. These pink gummy bears are everything. They're so cute. They look like they would be like pink lemonade flavored. That's what they're going to be in my little doll world because I love me some pink lemonade. So there are the very cute gummy bears. And if you can tell, like it's layered too. So if you want to do a, a, fo photo, um, a photo shoot with your dolls, that's going to look, it's going to make perfect sense. The next things, which I don't like uh, too much, are pretzels. I do not like pretzels. I don't. I never have. Um, I didn't like them when I was a kid. And then I was an adult after having not eaten them for quite some time. I tried to eat them again and I was still like, ugh. I know lots of people who love them. So if you love them, more power to you. But I do not like um, pretzels whatsoever. But these are some very nice pretzels. Some of my dolls like pretzels. They're not like me. <laughs> some of them actually love pretzels. Ooh, now I like this. Here is the popcorn, and I guess it's supposed to have like M&Ms or something in it, like in that picture over there. Um, let me pull this back up again so you can see it. It's like M&Ms mixed in with the popcorn, which um, some people love the sweet, the sweet and salty combo, which I do too. Um, but I don't like it in my popcorn though. <laughs> I really don't like it in my popcorn. But this is a, like a tub of popcorn that you would get from the movies. And what I like about this is that you can pull the popcorn out and show like if you're doing like a little movie picture or something with your doll's photography and you want to show them before the movie started and then after the movie started, <laughs> I think that would be really cute. So I like that you can take the popcorn out and this is what it looks like. So they did a really good job on the detail. Not too bad. I wish they would have tried a little bit better with the um, M&Ms or whatever that's supposed to be inside the popcorn. But, you know, you can only, you can only um, do whatever. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you that I think is super cute is that they have like chicken, chicken strips or chicken wings with the ranch sauce or whatever sauce. <laughs> I love these. They kind of look like some carrots, but it's supposed to be chicken wings, I'm pretty sure, or chicken strips. So I like this detail. Here's the bottom of it. Super cute. All right. The next item I'm in love with as well, which is why I wanted to get two of these, but I'll just have to go back another time and get some, is for this, this chocolate bar. Oh, this chocolate bar is so cute. And it's nice and sturdy. It's not as flimsy as the stuff from the last wave of these that came out. And it looks very realistic, as long as you don't turn it on the back. <laughs> it looks really realistic, though. I love this little chocolate bar. It's so cute. The next item that I have here, and the final item for this set and for this video, is the, you know, the cola. <laughs> I don't know if that's root beer or cola, but it's something cola related and um, looks pretty fabulous. Um, other ones had a lot of ashiness on the inside. Ashy, sorry, I don't know what I said before. Ashiness on the inside of the cup, but this one had the least ashiness. So that's why I went with this one, but it's supposed to be some kind of cola in here. Um, this is not cardboard like in the French deal where the tea or coffee, this is cardboard in there. But that's good though, because you can take the piece of cardboard out. If I can ever get it out, let's see. I'm trying to get something to grab that cardboard out. And then you can make it look like with this little tea or coffee pitcher thing, that there is no coffee in it. You know, everybody drank it all up. Or you can put the cardboard back in it the cardboard back in it oh come on now there we go take it all the way down um and now it's full again so you know i think that's a really cute you know it's a good way to do it you can pour your own like little drops of soda in there to make it look like whatever if you wanted to 
but um i do like this detail i do like the top and the little straw and then they have like the indentations on how the plastic lid works so i think that's a really good um oh this moves too wow it moves but the i don't i don't think you can open the top no, I'm pulling really hard. You can't open the top. But this is a very good um, prop. I love stuff like this. Uh, somebody else used to make uh, stuff like that too. And it was really good and it wasn't remint. I can't think of what it was though. But thank you guys for watching this totally tiny... A little sign fell out so I thought I'd hold it. The totally tiny miniatures... Um, it's a lot of fun showing these kind of things off. Let's uh, take a look here. Oh, it's such good. It's such good um, details on this stuff. So we are now done with the video. I want to thank you guys for dipping in the miniature sphere <laughs> into the mini verse uh, with these mini items from Totally Tiny. Um, they're really good with doll scale. So, um, just so you know, it is really good doll scale. I hope I don't drop this. I should have found some sticky putty to use. But here is Shine holding the gummies. Can you see it? She's holding the gummies. So, they, they do come in really good scale with, with your dolls. Some of my kitty assistants are in the background tearing up some stuff, so I better get off of here. <laughs> Once again, this is going to be a video at least 15 minutes long. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get it lower than that, but I love to talk to you guys. So um, let me know down below once again, what kind of time frame do you want me to go with in these videos with you guys? And I will try to reach that time frame. Um reach that time frame for you okay so like comment share and subscribe i thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos we'll be having another one pop out soon enough with the remaining totally tiny items which are i bought two of the chinese food <laughs> and i'm sure i'm not the only one who did so um but i probably will be going back for more um, to see if I can find some different stuff. I don't think there's anything different in the smaller packs, but the bigger packs, there's some really nice stuff in those. So I will be probably going to Target or somebody to try to find those. Um, I know like in August or July of last year, that Target had a really good sale on the totally tiny stuff. So I'm hoping that's going to happen this year. Like I bought like these packs for like two bucks, like $1.48. Um, and then the bigger packs were like five bucks. So I really enjoyed that sale. These cats are running amok in the doll room here for me. So <laughs> I will have to see you guys later. Be well, stay safe, and don't forget to put that sunshine in your life. <laughs> All right, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.